Woo child. Here we go again, y'all. So, this is the second of the double upload, y'all. And no sense to going to going into all of the other stuff. We're just gonna get into it. Now, this one is gonna be about the rock. Now, if y'all have been um following, I think when I first started doing these story times, um, I'm talking about the rock. He's in probably two or three story times. So we're gonna stick with that. Now, this one is going to be about the time I ran into him after I hadn't seen him in, it's been multiple years, right? So I think at this point, I probably have been knowing him, what, about 29 years at that point. Now, mm -mm, it was not a good reunion, okay? Not a good one. So I see him, of course, it started out, you know, um... Hey, how you doing? And this, that, and the third. I ain't seen you in a while and all of that. Y'all know, you know. Anywho, so uh, here I go. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He was too thirsty. He was too attentive, right? So I knew something wasn't right. He gets to talking and he was like, nah, he cut me off from saying whatever I was saying. Do you know this man asked me? Do you know anybody um, that got some, some flat screens? I think flat screens had just started coming out good. Like good in the hood. You know, and uh, everybody was getting them right. It was like, you know anybody with some flat screens? Here I go. Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people that got them. Why? So now, you know, you piquing my interest, but in a different way. Okay? Not that, oh, I'm so excited to hear what you're going to say. I knew that this was on a different level, and I didn't want no parts of it. The man said, here I go, and why are you so interested in that? He said, because I, I want to go get him. You want to go get what? You want to go to the store and go buy you one? Or, or I mean, what you saying? You don't know what he had exactly? Or what, what are you saying? You talking about he wanted to run in there and get him. So I said, let me see, let me let me see if I hear you correctly. You want to run in somebody's house and take their flat screen TVs? Here I go. Do you think that's a good idea? And he was like, I got to do something. I need some money. I said, What did you think about getting a job? Because you guaranteed to get some money at that point. Just think about this. You are going to run in somebody's house. When you think they sleeping and steal their flat screen TVs. And he was like, yeah, I said, you know, that's a home invasion, right? I said, you know what kind of trouble you can get into doing stuff like that? First of all, you don't know these people. And you think you just going to go in their house and take something that they didn't work hard for? Nah. I, that's not that ain't never gonna work in your favor. It's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. Well, I don't know what if it's gonna work or not until I get in there. I said, but the thing, the difference is, you are going in there. Do you know if you're coming out? That's a chance I'm gonna have to take. I said, and you taking these chances for who exactly? Cause that don't sound like something you came up with by yourself. Now let me tell y'all this. So he had always been somebody that was trying to impress other people. He wanted them to think. See, he, he was under some big wigs, right? So he wanted them to think that he had, you know, he was he was about that. You know, you ain't about that life. Not for real. Not for real. But you gonna get yourself hurt thinking you about to go and take somebody else's stuff. You know, you do you don't know the people houses that you running up in, you doing this, that and the third. I mean, do you have a weapon? I mean, how you think you just gonna go in here and do this? Now he was built like the rock. I told y'all that before. He was built like him. He didn't look like him. Didn't look like him at all. But anywho, ain't nobody going with that. Okay? They just not. You not about to do that. I don't know if you've been successful in it before. You know, but even if you have, that don't mean it's going to keep on happening that way. You know, you doing all of this for what reason? For what? So, are you doing this for you? 
Are you doing this because somebody asked you to do it? Because it just don't sound like I never, ever, ever would have believed that it was him that wanted to do it and that thought he really was going to do this. I mean, it just, the older he was getting, the dumber he was getting. I'm just going to put it out there. It don't make sense. So you didn't open your mouth. This, this is what I came to. You was talking to some people that really had something going on, not in the right way, but they had something going on, and you were striving to be like them. You wanted to be in the same light. You wanted people to look at you the same way that they looked at them. Those people had been doing what they were doing for a lot of years. They were successful at it until they weren't, okay, because, of course, they got caught up too. But you want somebody to think that you are one way. Got an image to uphold. It's not going to work out, honey. It, it's, it's just not. It's not going to work. You know? And he was like, well, I had to talk this man down. Do you hear me? I told him, you might not even make it out of there with your life. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to play with you at all. I don't know who you've been talking to. It got you thinking that you just this. So you going to do it. No. Don't let nobody pump you up like that. Don't let nobody feed you some nonsense when you know that it's a strong possibility that it can go in a different direction. Don't do that. You got, a, you got kids. You got a wife. You know, you got grandkids at that point. Is it really worth that? And you too old to be going to jail. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. Way too old to be going to jail. Who going to come and see you? The people that you're trying to do this for, they ain't coming. The people that you're trying to impress, they not coming. Your kids don't even mess with you for real. They ain't coming. Uh, your wife, she probably would. The grandkids, eh, iffy. I'm just saying, it don't make a lot of sense. And then, first of all, flat screens are not that expensive. You mean to tell me you can't just go and buy a, a flat screen? You can get them from almost anywhere. It ain't going to cost you that much. Spend the money that you got and go and purchase you one. Don't go take nobody else's stuff. You don't know how that's going to end. I'm just saying. And if you make it out of there, maybe you will, maybe you won't. That might be the last flat screen that you steal. Okay? Don't do stu stupid stuff, people. Don't let nobody coerce you. Don't no let nobody tell you, oh, man, yeah, you got that. You can do it. Don't let nobody tell you no stupid stuff. And it sounds good to you to a point that you just going to go on ahead and try it anyway. You know, curiosity killed the cat. He ain't know what it was for real until he found out. He was too curious, I guess. Don't always work out. Don't always work in your favor. You try it. You don't know what the end result going to be. But anyway. Whew, it's too much, y'all. Oh, way too much. Don't be that person. Don't ever be that person. You got to weigh your up, weigh your pros and cons. Okay? If your pros, now I'm talking about certain situations now, not nothing like that because it shouldn't even be a, a weighing of any sort in that kind of situation. If something does not sound good to you, if something does not work in your favor, if something uh, uh, might cause a chance for it to be a consequence to your action, that ain't for you. That is not for you. Don't put yourself there. Just don't even attempt to do it. You know, it ain't going to work in your favor. Anyway, I done said all I need to say. I think about that. Y'all get the gist, okay? Y'all brighter than that. Now, that's going to conclude this story time, y'all. And, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.